Hello! In this video, we will explain the process of setting up 7 sensors on the Growa Chine Master Data Logger. First, we need to connect the irradiance sensor and the external sensors. Before we proceed with the connection, let's get to know our sensors. Our product sets consist of the main sensor, which is the irradiance sensor, and the connectable external sensors, which are the ambient temperature sensor, the model temperature sensor, the wind speed sensor, the wind direction sensor, and the humidity sensor. The connectors that link the external sensors have different pin numbers. Therefore, there is no risk of making a wrong connection. By following the pin numbers, we connect the irradiance sensor box and the external sensors. Once the connection process of the external sensors is completed, a 3-meter cable is used for the power and communication of the irradiance sensor. This cable is sent to our customers with the 7 sensor sets. The 6-pin connector side of this cable is connected to the irradiance sensor. The brown, white, yellow, and green wires at the other end are connected to the power supply and data logger to power and communicate the sensor. The brown wire connects to the power supply plus. The white wire connects to the power supply minus. Seven sensors operate with a voltage of 12 to 30 VDC. The recommended voltage is 24 VDC. The green and yellow wires are connected to the Modbus port on the Shine Master data logger. The Shine Master data logger has two Modbus communication ports. After choosing which port you are going to connect to, connect the green wire to the input specified as port A or data plus, and the yellow wire is connected to the input specified as port B or data minus. If more than one device is connected to the port you have selected, the device IDs must be different. The baud and parity values must be the same. If you want to change the sensor ID, you can do so by using the 7 sensor configuration tool. Once the connection cable between the data logger and the sensor is completed, the sensor must be added to the data logger. There is an internet browser interface for this process. To connect the data logger interface, the computer to be used and the data logger must be connected to the same network. A web browser opens on a computer on the same network as the data logger. A search is made by typing the IP address of the data logger into the web browser. If the necessary connection have been established correctly, the corresponding interface is opened. If you do not know the IP address of the data logger, you must ask the person who installed it. Once the configuration interface page is opened, enter the username and password and click login button. The data logger information page of the screen that appears contains information about the Shine Master data logger. You should check that your data logger has up-to-date software in the firmware version section. It should be checked that the sensor and the communication port we connect from the baud rate section have the same baud rate value. Then, the export limit and data logger setting page opens. The relevant port is selected from the add or delay devices section. The 7 3S IS option is selected for automatic configuration. Thus, the sensor register addresses are automatically defined. Enter the sensor ID number in the side section. Check the add box and click the save button. The device state page opens to see if the sensor configuration is successful. 
The seven sensors defined on this page are displayed. If the connection is successful, normal is written in the device state. If the connection is unsuccessful, it says suspend. In case the communication fails, the wiring and sensor communication parameters should be checked. Afterwards, once the sensor configuration has been successfully completed in the data logger configuration interface, the Shine Server Monitoring System is accessed. To access the Shine Server interface, log in to server.growat.com from the browser. On the Monitoring System page that opens, enter the username and password and click the Sign In button to enter the Monitoring System. After logging into the monitoring system, the PV project to be supervised is selected on the dashboard screen. Then go to the All Device page. The data logger section of this page is opened to add the 7 sensor to the Shine server monitoring system to which it is connected to. Click the Add button to add it. On the page that opens, enter the serial number and the check code of the data logger. This information is written on the label on the back of the data logger. Select the relevant project from the assigned plant list and click the Yes button. After adding the data logger, it will be displayed in the data logger menu. When the weather menu is open, the meteorological data from all seven sensors connected to the Shine Master data logger is displayed. If you wish to check your historical data, you can check or click on the History Data section and view the data from all seven sensors on the page that opens. The data is recorded every five minutes. You can download the recorded data and save it to your computer using the Export option at the top right. Thank you for watching.